in this video I'm going to look at the BST 400W which is a DC to DC converter and can take a lower voltage such as 6 or 12 volts and convert it into anywhere from 8 to 80 volts at up to 400 watts or 10 amps of current. Uh, applications for something like this would be for charging a higher voltage battery such as a 24 volt battery or generating 19 volts to power a laptop when you only have a 12 volt source. I'm going to put this unit through its paces and we're going to uh, see what it can do. And uh, well, let's take a look. I want to show you a little module I got from Banggood and what this module is, is this is a power booster. This is a buck converter booster. And basically you can feed it with, it's a DC in, DC out. So as you can see, it's got your positive in, negative in, and your positive out, negative out. And it, it's, I believe it goes up as high as 80 volts. So it takes anywhere from eight to 12 volts input and will give you up to 80 volts out. So what I'm planning on doing with this thing is we're gonna try it out and just see how much power we can get out of this and see whether we can do things like light up CFLs or light up incandescent lights. We'll check this thing out. Now, obviously, as it's a current converter, it's going to need a lot of current on the input, as, as you can tell from the size of the inductors on this thing here. This thing is uh, going to be quite current hungry, so I'm going to get a couple of uh, batteries, and we're going to connect this up to a couple of gel cell batteries, which will give us lots of current so that we can actually check this thing out and see what type of voltage we can get out of it. I guess we f should first check to make sure that our, our batteries are actually our batteries are actually charged, right? I mean, what better way to see if our batteries are charged than to see if it'll melt a wire? I think that indicates that the batteries are fully charged, as you can see here. So we're going to uh, connect it up to our 12 volt battery now. And yes, I know I'm using uh, thin wires here, but they will do the job I'm using a blue wire for my negative and the orange wire for my positive. So we're connecting it up to the 12 volts volt source. So this display is now showing 20. I imagine that means 20 volts. We can find that out pretty easy by just grabbing a voltmeter here. We'll put the voltmeter across the, uh, the output terminals here. Positive and negative. So here's the, here's the positive terminal. Oh, it's 11 volt. Uh, let's see here. Set. That's 5 amps. 20. What is 20? Okay, here the voltage should be going up now. There we go. There goes the voltage up. It's all turned on now. Okay, now we're at 20 volts. Ah, okay, that's how it works. Set. You just hit set, it turns off, and it just goes back down to the, the actual voltage. So let's turn this voltage up and see how high we can go on this thing here. I think it says it goes to 80 volts, so 80 volts. Okay, now we hit the power button here, the OK button, and it should turn it on. Okay. And it says OK, it's ready to go, and I click it again, and here goes the voltage. And it's telling me the voltage right here as well. As you can see, I'm able to confirm the voltage. So I think I can probably fire up a CFL bulb on 80 volts DC. That should work. So I'm gonna go grab one once this thing gets up there. It's taking its time. Oh, I'm overloading my meter. Gotta to go to the next range up here. Okay, this is saying 80.13, this meter is showing 78.6. So we'll turn it off. And the voltage is now dropping back down. I'm gonna go back down to 11 volts. I'm gonna go get a, uh, something I can power up with a light bulb, for example. So here I have a 23 watt uh, 
compact fluorescent and I'll just power it up with AC power so you can see that it does light up. What we're going to do now is I'm going to just get a couple jumpers and we're going to just connect it to the DC output. And turn this thing on and see whether this will actually light. Now these have a these all, all have a rectifier inside because they obviously operate on DC. They take the AC 120 volts, convert it over to DC, and then they run it through their own inverter. So a CFL light should run no problem on DC. Let's turn it on here and see whether it will light up as the voltage climbs. It's starting to light. There we go. So it starts to light around 50 volts. One of these units will be quite um, useful in, say, a motorhome or a trailer where you could run 120 watt uh, CFL or LED lamps off of your 12 volt battery and it would be a lot more efficient than turning on your main inverter which is going to be rather power hungry so something like this could actually be quite useful in a mobile environment for running devices off of DC that require more than 12 volts. Let's uh, see how much current this thing's drawing from the 12 volt battery. So putting out 80 volts DC, it's drawing 1.46 amps. Now let's see if I can keep doing this without actually disconnecting anything. I'm going to hook up my old vintage. This is a 60 watt incandescent bulb. And we'll see whether this thing will actually light up at all. It should light up, but it's going to not be very bright. And it is. And as you can see, this one is drawing 60 watts, and it's drawing 3.5 amps. But we are still getting 80 volts. But we're only drawing 3.5 three amps from the battery. So this battery is rated at 8 amp hour, so at 3 amps, this thing should run this thing, thing for, you know, probably an hour and a half to two hours before it goes down at 3.5 amps. Because an uh, 8 amp hour battery, you should be able to draw 8 amps for one hour. And we're drawing 3.5, so... This should give me a couple of hours. Now if I look at this thing here, what will it tell me? Okay, I can change the voltage. Well, it's running set. Okay. Oh, it's limited to five amps. So there's your, there's the amperage. Or is it limited or not? Yeah. Nope, it'll go higher. Okay, now it'll measure the current. Here, here comes the light fading up. You see now it's measuring the current. And this is the output current, not the input current. Because here's our input current here. We're drawing 1.4 amps. And 0.28 amps, 0 0.28 amps is the output. I think we need to load this thing down with an even bigger bulb. I have a 100 watt bulb here. 
and one that's rated at 120 volts. This is rated at 130. So that's drawing three and a half amps. Let's see how much power this one will draw. Well, that was drawing eight amps. Significant amount more of current. The output here is coming up at uh, 0.47, but that's actually giving off a fair bit of light. It's a 100 watt bulb, but it's not going to 100 watts, that's for sure. This is giving off probably the equivalent of about a 40 watt bulb, maybe a 60. I would say more like a 40 watt, but we're drawing 8 amps. This is going to suck this battery down pretty quick. But hey, it's doing the job. How are my wires doing here? Now oh, they're not getting that warm. They're just getting slightly warm. But drawing 8 amps out of this thing will uh, certainly run this battery down a little quicker. At about 75 volts here. Looks like we're starting to drop a bit too. Got it set to 80, but our voltage is starting to drop. I have a feeling that the battery is probably starting to... Uh, this battery was not fully charged. But I'm still drawing 8 amps, but I'm only getting 74 volts out of this thing right now. Our current is starting to drop now. We'll see how long the battery goes before I pull this battery down to nothing. So I say this battery is not was not charged. And believe it or not, what is getting warm, these wires aren't getting warm. But my my probes are. I have a feeling this battery is probably getting down there. First of all, it's not a new battery. This is an old battery that uh, came out of the recycle bin because uh, it wouldn't hold a charge, apparently. So it was deemed at the end of its useful life. I think the battery voltage is dropping off there. Let's just put it on the other battery and see what happens on this one. But here comes up our voltage. There we go. The green light's on indicating the voltage is now at the set voltage. Now we're drawing 7 amps out of this battery. So the voltage on this one might be a little bit higher coming off the battery. But anyway, um, that's the module. It uh, does what it says. It will take a DC voltage and boost it anywhere from 8 to 80 volts. And of course, as I say, the, the minimum it can be is what your actual input voltage is. So a, a car battery can be used to generate higher voltage uh, DC. Anyway, uh, that's this little module. Um, neat little demo. I gotta find a use for this thing now. I get all these uh, devices to evaluate, and then I have to find I got to find a use for them. But this is certainly a usable, a useful little module, and it does the job. So that's it. I think we will con conclude this test now before I melt my. Oh, this is really warm. Before I melt my uh, my leads, there we'll conclude this test and call this one a success. Thanks for watching.